Joining us today is U.S. Democratic Congressman S. Raja Krishnamurthy, who serves on the House Intelligence Committee and the House uh, Oversight and Reform Committee. Con Congressman Rajamurthy, thanks very much for joining us here on We On. Great to be on, Palki. So Donald Trump is facing the heat for underplaying the threat of the pandemic about which you've also spoken. Despite America's cases, he's also been hailing the procurement of ventilators as a major success. You don't seem to agree, given your recent statements. No, I think that the procurement of ventilators has been a disastrous. Um, my committee, the committee I chair, found that he paid almost five times what had previously been contracted. And as a consequence, um, you know, almost half a billion dollars in taxpayer money was wasted. Thankfully, uh, because of the pressure from my committee, um, the Trump administration canceled that procurement contract for ventilators. But it just goes to show how ill-prepared and poorly the Trump administration has handled the pandemic and the response to it so far. Do you believe that politics over the pandemic helps any side? I don't know who it helps. I think that the the fact of the matter is that we have to call a spade a spade in order to rectify the situation and make sure that we handle the pandemic better right now. You've also said in the past that the U.S. Congress failed to conduct a thorough and nonpartisan investigation of Russian interference. Now there's another election around the corner and there's threat not just, not just of the Russians, but also the Chinese possibly interfering in this election. Do you believe that the U.S. is better prepared this time? I think it's um, slightly better prepared, but I'm, I'm very concerned about the tone at the top, namely that President Trump um, is actively trying to suppress information about the Russian interference in the current elections. In fact, we had a whistleblower come forward and file a complaint that, uh, that the, his superiors in the Trump administration have routinely manipulated information and changed intelligence assessments to downplay Russian interference. And because of that, I'm concerned that we're not prepared. Most of all, I'm also concerned that the American people don't know about it even as they're about to go vote in 50 days for the, for the next president of the United States. As an Indian American uh, politician yourself, how do you view the choice of Kamala Harris for the vice presidential ticket? I think uh, her choice was an excellent one. I think it was a moment of pride for um, all of us, especially you know, people of color uh, and, and uh, Indian Americans. Um, if you look at pictures of her family uh, from India, you can see your own family in those. And I think that's a, a moment of joy and pride for us. Uh, she's been accused of, uh, of, quote unquote, playing the India card only now and in the past not uh, talking very much about her, uh, her Indian lineage. Uh, is this just a political move then to pull Indian American voters? Uh, no, I think that, you know, um, I've been to different gatherings where she's talked about her Indian heritage. Um, I do think that it probably make sense for her to talk more about it, to really, um, uh, you know, fully bring out her biography, because I think that the more people learn about her, the more they'll be impressed by her background and, uh, you know, the fact that she's been selected. China, and I understand, is a, is a big talking point, and uh, Biden is being projected as a pro-China leader. Uh, how much do people in America care about the China factor? I think they care. I think that um, they know that, uh, unfortunately, the current president has not done a very good job of, um, you know, preventing the Chinese government from doing what they've done in the way of uh, industrial espionage or, um, you know, encroaching upon their neighbors. Um, I'm very uh, grateful that my colleagues supported my effort to condemn Chinese aggression on the line of actual control with India uh, when we amended the National Defense Authorization Act recently. And finally, uh, the BLM protests seem to have uh, unraveled American society. And, and, and while there might be some politics involved there, uh, it has also uh, showed the world that there is, a, there is inherent racism in, in the system. Have you been at the receiving at, at, at any point? I have, but I think the vast majority of the American people are good people. They want our country to evolve into a better society, one that is um, more tolerant, inclusive, less discriminatory toward people of color. 
That being said, we have big hurdles um, and um, we need to recognize them and tackle them head on, head on, especially with regard to racism and especially with regard to uh, reforming law enforcement as well. So you have a president who's calling these protesters domestic terrorists, and you have a presidential hopeful uh, whose record does not speak very highly of him when it comes to race relations. Are you hopeful? I am hopeful. I think that Joe Biden, uh, as well as Kamala Harris, um, present an opportunity for us to unite around these issues as opposed to continue to divide. I think that the current president stokes divisions between people. He pits people against each other. And in doing so, he inflames tensions, not calms them down. And when that happens, it's very hard to address this um, very um, important subject of race relations. Congressman uh, Raja Krishnamurti, thanks very much for joining us here on Beyond, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.